Microsoft is ending the year with a banger. They have just released another version of their all-time famous Trellis model, which takes a 1-2D image and generates a high-quality, high-fidelity 3D model from it. In this video, we are going to install this model locally and we are also going to test it out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. Please also follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype. You can see that I already covered their previous trellis model which they released over one year ago. Another interesting bit about this new model is that this was created with the collaboration of Tsinghua University in China. What this model does, it outputs a textured mesh with full PBR which means physically based rendering material. So the 3D model has realistic colors, shine, metalness, roughness and even transparency and translucency. It can handle complex shapes, holes, open surfaces and weird geometric perfectly without the glitches or broken parts you get from older image to 3D model. So let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU or VM on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Microsoft has also shared this repo, so I'm just going to clone it and I will drop the link to it in video's description. And that should be done any second. It's a big repo by the way, it includes a lot of things. And then we need to run this setup script from the root of the repo. And everything is installed. Next, let's run this app.py from the root of the repo. And the first time when you run this, it downloads the model. So let's wait for it. It's not a huge model. While it downloads, let's talk a bit more around the architecture of the model and use cases. So look, as I said, it is um, a 3D model generative uh, model, which you can use for your game development, where let's say you have a concept for a game or art or photo, and it can quickly turn that into ready to use 3D characters. How good is that? Or you can create some photoreal assets for scenes or effects. You can make objects that look good in any lighting and you can turn real world photos into editable 3D models. So it is not just gaming. You can also generate printable meshes. You can do rapid prototyping from sketches or references. As far as um, its architecture is concerned, they have shared a lot of information in this paper and you can just access this from the link I will share. But if you look at the architecture and their approach, it is built around a 4 billion parameter flow matching transformer. And a flow matching transformer is a model that creates smooth high quality data. The core trick is OVoxel. This is something they have introduced. OVoxel is a sparse voxel grid that stores both shape and appearance directly. No need for signed distance field or other surface tricks that fail on tricky topologies. A sparse 3D variational autoencoder compresses huge assets into a tiny latent code with almost no quality drop. The transformer generates a latent from the input image then converts it instantly to a mesh. So no slow optimization steps. This whole thing makes it faster, more accurate and better at complex transparent objects than most alternatives. And we have seen some of the alternatives on the channel too. And I think Microsoft's Trellis first version still beats all of them. And if you are wondering what Voxel is, Voxel is short for volume pixel. It is a 3D equivalent of a pixel which is a tiny cube shaped unit that represents a point in a 3D space holding information like color, density or material. And in 3D modeling, um, these voxels form a grid like a Lego blocks to describe objects volumetrically. And there are a lot of other information you can read through on this paper. And the model is loaded and running on our local system. Let's access it on our local host. 
and there you go now you can just select any image preferably with some masked foreground object as i explained earlier and then we can generate a 3d asset first let me try it out with their given example from the repo i'm just going to click on this tree and then let's scroll down and from here let's click on generate i'm just going to keep all of these hyper parameters it is doing it let's check the vram consumption it is just touch over 16 gig of vram as you can see and it is still working let's check the vram consumption it is just hovering around the same so it takes around i think a minute or so to finish it let's wait it is now rendering and this is where you see it has jumped it has now reached to just under 30 gig and there you go so i'm just going to click here and you can just go with different sort of colors as i mentioned earlier this is a, this is one of the main differences from the previous version now one more thing you can do sorry you can just sorry let me just move it here or maybe i'll just make the size bit smaller just to show you something so if i just move the slider you can check it out from the various angles you see these are the various angles which you can check it out this is the slider and these are the render modes and i'm just going to show you all the, of the render modes again from this angle so you see it is quite um, profound in this coverage of this physically based rendering because it is it it is and that is a primary rendering mode now so whatever the base color roughness is it produces photorealistic results as you can see let's try out another one i'm just going to select this and then let's come down and generate it let's wait for it and you already know how long it takes and it has generated the 3d model let me move the slider so there you go so looks pretty good to me there is slight misformation in terms of i would say eyes you can see this one but not much i think it's okay and we can also check it out and this can be fixed too another thing which you can do you can also extract the glb format which still some you know bit slow like takes a minute or so glb is gl transmission format binary it is a compact single file binary format for storing 3d models and scenes and you can use it for your uh, 3d viewers game engines ar vr apps for augmented reality and virtual reality and you can even use it in something called as you know blender or microsoft paint 3 and various other uh, stuff like adobe substance and few others okay this is cool let me select one of my own image from my local system i'm just going to select this ai gen you know optimized image it is processing it okay let's wait and it has just processed it let's click on generate let's see what it does here and there you go this is what it has generated so i'm just going to check it out in various um, renderings these are the ones and then of course you can move it across if you like there you go and you can just create any 3d assets from it let me do one more example and i'm just going to go with this yet another AI generated uh, curry image let's see what it does and there you go so you see there are some spoons but it has just given it this and not bad at all actually it's quite good this is some of the wedges too at the top i'll just move the slider to show you you see this is very very fine i really like it look at this one really good okay let's try out this one i really like it because this is a glass and so there are some objects inside just want to see how exactly it represents these objects within the glass there you go i think looks really good i'll just go down and move the slider this is the best one i guess 
there are few mistakes but i mean especially around these green offshoots but other than that i think it has done good especially if you look at in this uh this one and this is where it has just given us this rendering this is another rendering and this is another one so what do you think let me know in the comments please again please try becoming a member of the channel if you want to help out and follow me on x as that helps thank you for all the support